Hello everyone, um, this is going to be the last video of the day, unless I upload some gaming content. Um, let's see if this is turned up. It's not. Okay, now. Um, oh, it's hot. <laughs> this, so one of you wanted more Dirty Trucker, or Dirty Trucking uh, videos, so here's another one. Yeah, for people who don't know, this is a lady who... I do think she has some craziness. She was diagnosed, or at least assessed, for uh, cluster A diagnoses, paranoid uh, personality disorder, and schizoaffective, or something like that. Anyway, because there was a court case, but she refused to go inpatient. Anyway, she gets fired from every job. She she makes up conspiracies against her and <laughs> she uh, a lot of times she destroys the vehicles that she's loaned to use uh, and she doesn't pay her bills that's another thing um, so anyway here we go but I do think she does do some of this for entertainment I don't think all of this is her just being crazy anyway here we go Hello, 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 it's Dirty Trucking, Dirty Trucking. Oh, man, it's 7.42, and unfortunately, I'm back home. Um, I got out there around, I went out about 2, I think I started around 3, made $45, and came back home. Uh, this luring to certain location games, sent me around shit, it's none turned into trucking. Uh, it's become stressful, it's become a big waste of my time. Um, this job... I need to go ahead and end my suffering. You know, the whole idea of ride share is wonderful. Um, but the games and the, and the, that I got to deal with to make money. Um, I didn't come out there to ride up and down the street burning gas. Your app showing I'm in areas where there should be trips, but it's not picking up any trips. Uh, I just drove over five miles from the last location. Ride share was a good idea. All the gig economy apps aren't worth doing anymore, unless you're in specific locations. Um, she happens to be in Detroit. So if you live in Detroit and you do rideshare gigs or anything, you'll have to let me know if it really is good there. Um, she keeps complaining that she gets complaints. And I believe that she weirds people out. She weirds me out. <laughs> and I'm not even in a car with her. Um, anyway. I was at, back to my apartment, with the app on. No trips. I'm done. I only made $45 a day, and it's because of this job. I've gotten behind in my bills, and it's because of this job, my whole, I mean, why am I here? Yeah, I, I'm, I didn't come out there to make $45 a day. I came out there to make the money I need to make to pay what I need to pay. But I can't seem to do that here. Every time you turn around, it's an issue. Or they want to play games. All this seems to be about money. They, they got cars in front of me with license plates that say mega. This is not the fucking lottery. This fucking game that you playing with me doesn't benefit me. This fucking game that you playing don't put money in my motherfucking pocket. Another thing with her paranoia... She believes she's being targeted. That's the word I was looking for. The targeted people. That things have something to do with her specifically. And can't just be things or people simply existing. Um, anyway. In fact, he's been doing nothing but take money from my pocket. I need to end my suffering. There's no way in the hell I got up today to go to work. You know, he made $45. And then the last five miles riding around. I drove from one location all the way back to downtown Detroit. Never pinged the trip. And the app was on. I don't know if that's somebody blocking the signal or this bullshit with the phone. But getting trips now has been taking way too fucking long. This place is starting to remind me of a reefer company where you sitting up there wasting your motherfucking time till you get tired of wasting your time and then you end up leaving. I'm at the point where I'm ready to quit. I am. I'm there. I've been there. I need to end my suffering. The money I need 
to get myself, they, they, they tell you to do what you need to do to make you happy. But the only thing that's going to make me happy is having that amount of money to take care of what I need to to make me happy. I'm not going to get it here. I'm not going to get it here. I'm just not going to get it here. It's not going to happen. Working, period, is not going to get me the money that I need to go ahead and just be happy. Take care of everything I need to take care of so I can live the rest of my life in fucking peace. Despite what they did to destroy it. Working is not going to do it. Being independent is not going to do it. None of that is going to do it. The only thing is that going to do it is they give me a check for what the fuck they did to me. That's what they need to do. Another thing is she claims all these different businesses owe her money. And because they have, quote, effed her over when it's not that way. Um, there was a weird situation where she was told to go to a certain location I don't remember it all because it was a while ago and basically the app was wrong and it was just weird stuff and so that added to her conspiracies. Anyway. Well, me coming out here working, dealing with this shit, every job I come on is playing a goddamn game. Every fucking job. I didn't come here to play a game. You want to cost me money? I ain't got to make you money. And that's the way they go. I'm not going to sit there seeing what you're doing I'm recognizing what happened, and you think I'm going to be riding around, sitting up on lots, waiting until they ready to give me a run. No, that's controlling me. I'm not going to do it. If I got to waste my time, I can do it at home. That way, I'm not costing myself no damn money. I'm not burning no gas, not doing a goddamn thing. My time, every minute of it, is fucking valuable. And every minute I'm at work, that's every minute I need to be getting paid for the time I'm at work. And I'm not, I'm not, not doing anything to get paid for work, I can go fucking home. I need to get out of this shit. You know, I thought rideshare was the perfect job to retire out the uh, trucking industry. I thought it was the perfect job. I did. How wrong was I? That they doing nothing but the same thing that's going on in trucking. Playing that worn truck plant shit. They greedy. Everybody want money. And they were subject to jeopardize my job and my livelihood for money. And I'm sick of it. I need to be doing something where I don't have to deal with these people and they need and they fucking greed for fucking goddamn money. Well, lady, welcome to America. We live in a capitalist country. Not that anything else wouldn't be based on money. I don't know what communism is based on, but I assume it's money. Oh, power, maybe. But not like America or any other country isn't based on money, power, and greed, but they just have their own way of do getting there, going about it. Anyway. I got behind in my bills because of this company. I'm still behind in my bills because of this company. And they're still playing games. It don't take that long to get trips. I drove five miles from where I was at, back downtown Detroit. I'm in my apartment. By the time I put it, the app was on. And I still ain't got no trips. But I'm looking at their map. It's got dollar signs. It's supposed to be trips in this area. They are being selective with their trips. And I'm sick of it. Fix the issues with your goddamn app. Your app not even pulling me up where the people are. I got to use two different maps because your Uber app not acting right. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of trying to do work to make money. And then they turn around. Playing fucking goddamn games with me. I'm I forgot to say that the more, and I'm sorry if you hear a dog barking. Buffy is barking at what I don't know. But the Warren Truck Company that she mentioned uh, was the company where the court case uh, came about because she's tried to sue them. Um, they did everything to get rid of her because she kept destroying their trucks and being weird and menacing people and stock but it ended up she stocked one of the managers or um maybe not the manager but the um supervisor a supervisor of the company and yeah so all of her quote trouble stems from them tired of your your fucking need and your fucking greed for money that's your goddamn problem bitch leave me out of that motherfucking shit Anyway, that's the video. Um, I'll see you all later.
Please like and subscribe if you like the video. You have, and I appreciate it. Um, I'll see you later.